For our new adventure, we're heading to one of Southeast Asia's top destinations. Join us as we explore this island where tradition meets modern life. From the intricate artistry of temples to serene nature and traditional cuisine that blends flavors and traditions, this place has it all. Buckle up and let's get lost in the island of the gods, Bali, Indonesia. How many burgers and fries did we eat on takeaway nights? How many miles did we burn just to see a little of the world? How many times did we say we'll forever be this way? How many days did we spend Ito yung spicy version. we would never have to end? Welcome to, to another, another adventure. adventure! It's August 17. Kaya kami babalik ng Bali, Indonesia ni JC is to celebrate our 10 years anniversary. No first time namin nagpunta sa Bali, 5 years pa lang kami nun. Tapos, hindi pa uso yung mga vlogging, hindi pa rin uso yung mga nag-take ng photos and videos. So, ang mga photos namin nun, konti lang. Tapos yung mga video na meron ako, karamihan, boomerang pa. Kasi boomerang era yun ng ano, Instagram. But I'm so excited to go back. We're creating more memories. And as usual, I'm going to take you guys with us. By the way, our travel time from Manila to Bali is 4 hours. And wala naman ganong requirements for Filipinos. Wala din tayong visa papunta sa Bali. So, passport lang saka yung mga necessary documents na need nyong i-present sa I.O. just in case. And we are now here in Bali, Indonesia. You've been holding back your shine all these gloomy days. But I need you, and I need you back. Hi, it's good to be back and reunited with Kuya Putra. He was our driver five years ago and became our friend. I highly recommend him as your Bali private driver because he will keep you safe and comfortable throughout the trip. He is the reason why our visit five years ago and this trip has been light and stress-free. Good morning everyone! We are now here at BHI Money Changer. Nagpapalit yung mga kasama ko. Ako, nag na lang ako sa airport para meron akong instant money na IDR. Yung una kong winidraw sa ATM nila is 2.5. And yung halaga nun is 9,000 plus. I highly suggest just withdrawing money from the ATM because the exchange rate is much better. I also find it more convenient. Our next agenda is to get a SIM card. It's better to get a SIM card outside the airport because it's much more affordable. I got mine from a local shop around Ubud and the owner was kind enough to assist me in activating it. We went to Bebek Joni for lunch and to kill time before our hotel check-in at 2 p.m. Bebek Joni is a local restaurant that serves mostly duck and vegetarian Balinese cuisine. It's not our first time here, the atmosphere is as light as I remember, and the place has definitely improved. It's now more spacious with areas where you can rest and take photos. We could fly a kite with our shoes off, pass on the boombox, weather never too hot. Little breeze is all I need and off to the races, watch it fly like a spaceship. You're taking me places starry eyed and complacent. We could fly a kite with our shoes off, pass on the boombox, weather never too hot. We like the food. It's a great place to try Balinese cuisine for the first time. I noticed that their local dishes are mostly high in protein and fiber, which is great. Thank you. 
We will be staying in Ubud for 4 days. We booked this villa in Booking.com. It's a nice place with a private pool and it's situated in a quiet neighborhood in Ubud. But it's not too far from the Ubud art market and tourist spots. It's a nice villa with several restaurants, coffee shops, and convenience stores nearby. Although the villa seem to be old and I feel like they could improve the maintenance. The staff are helpful and our villa is clean. Overall, we had a great stay. The breakfast and the food at the restaurant were also exceptional. Right after we settled into our place, we went to the sacred Ubud Monkey Forest. Luckily, we could still visit because it's open until 6 p.m. This is one of Ubud's most popular destinations with an entrance fee of just 100k IDR. You can stroll around while watching the monkeys as they go about their day. It's fascinating to observe these intelligent animals and it feels like they understand us. You'll see them running around, mostly in groups, some eating cassava, and others just relaxing in the trees. You can interact with them but be sure to keep your distance and hold onto your belongings tightly as some may try to steal your items or food. We are now enjoying this monkey forest. 100,000 IDR lang yung bayad. Tapos sobra talagang daming monkey. Just make sure na wala kayong mga dalang pagkain and dapat mabilis yung kamay nyo kasi may ibang monkey na nang aagaw ng mga gamit. Pero super cool. After an hour at the monkey forest, we headed to the nearby monkey street. It's a lively area with lots of boutiques, restaurants, and local massage spots. We tried satay babi which we enjoyed. It's full of savory flavor and just the right amount of spice for just 20k IDR for Next, we checked out the street market where prices range from 150k IDR to 600k IDR. The market has a wide variety of items including clothes, home decor, bags, jewelry, souvenirs, and many more. Our day two here in Bali. Currently, it's 6:40 a.m. We have a full day today because our first stop would be at Tagalalang Rice Terraces, and marami na kasi tayong activities na magagawa doon. So we will probably spend the whole morning in Tagalalang Rice Terraces. So, it's currently 7.38 and paakit na ako ngayon para mag-breakfast. Ito yung pool namin. Shared pools siya kasi dalawa yung villa dito sa side na to. This one is the first villa and this is our villa. Tapos, nag-rent din kami ng um, two-bedroom villas para kay mama and para dun sa kapatid ko, which is nasa taas pa. 
morning. Good morning everyone! Today marks the start of our busy itinerary so let's get started. Our first stop is the Tegalalang Rice Terraces in Ubud. This site is renowned for its scenic views of the rice paddies and its traditional innovative irrigation system. The Tegalalang Rice Terraces are listed as one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. This area is best visited during sunrise or sunset. Although the rice fields were not in season during our visit, the view was still an awesome experience. Be sure to check the months when the rice fields are at their greenest. We spent half a day here to fully experience everything this place has to offer. No Bali trip is complete without trying the Bali swings, so we did that. We also did the zip line and sky bike. We just rode the tandem bike here at Tegalang Rice Terraces. Masaya siya. Hindi siya nakakalula actually. Si Crystal lang nalula. Oo, hindi ako mabilis malula pero nalula ako kasi nakatingin ako dun sa baba habang nagtitake take ng videos. Right now, mag-switch kami ng kwesto ni JC. Siya naman yung sa unahan. Pabalik na kami ngayon dun sa ano, kabila. Nag-ride, yes. ano kami? Tandem riding ng bicycle. Yes, kuya. Kuya is assisting us. <laughs> Baby! Yeah! Woo! Baby! Hi! That's the view! Because you came in front of me Losing me in your vision I let go of you I'm lost in your energy I'm drifting After all the fun and adrenaline, we headed to Umapakal for coffee tasting. This is still in Ubud and offers a view of the Tegalalang Rice Terraces. The admission fee as well as coffee and tea tastings are free, except for Kopi Loa, which traditionally comes from Indonesia. It is also known as Poop Coffee and you can buy it for 65k IDR for a cup if you want to try it. The staff will give you a tour and share information about coffee, tea, and their benefits. We saw two civet cats, the animals that produce the unique coffee beans. They explained how kopi luwak is made. The cherries are eaten by the civet cat and the seeds ferment in the cat's digestive tract before being excreted along with the fecal matter. The beans are then harvested, thoroughly cleaned, dried, and roasted. From my personal experience, I found that kopi luwak is strong with a notable bitterness but it also has a fruity notes and hints of citrus. Mmm, parang manamis na mi. Hindi, joke lang. Mapait siya. May after effect pero pag mahilig kayo sa black coffee, masarap naman siya. This is the vanilla coffee. This one is the luwak coffee. We ordered in a separate cup. This is the most expensive coffee beans so, um, in the world. 65,000 coffee. The smell is strong. Mm. 
Anong bibili ka po? Bibili ka po ito. Bibili ako doon sa iba. Ang pait! Diba? <laughs> Yan nga yung sabi, sobrang pait. Pero medyo may fruitiness siya, diba? Oo. Parang fruity na mapait. They have a coffee shop on site as well. And you can try the Bali Swing here. Afterwards, we bought some coffee to take home. But the goods! Entering the Swimsicle restaurant feels like stepping into another realm. Sari Timbo is a hidden gem in Bali that blends food, art, and tradition. This restaurant offers Balinese cuisine and provides a truly magical experience. Please note that there is an admission fee of 100k IDR and food is consumable. We like the Balinese food and fruit shakes we had here. The staff are all very accommodating and always smiling. here at Teman de Dari. It is a restaurant with a unique theme. So if you want to take photos, you can do so because look at the view. It's so stunning. Can you see that? Pwede kayong maglakad doon, pero nanggaling na ako doon kanina. This is the um, another part of the restaurant. And then you can also make an arrangement for special location. This restaurant is one of the most unique and fascinating places I've ever visited. Situated in Ubud, it features a beautiful garden with statues of the Dari or angels and offers a breathtaking view of the Ayung River, the longest river in Bali, Indonesia. The name Taman de Dari is said to be inspired by the legend of Rishi Markandeya who saw angelic descendants in the Ayung River. The menu features both Balinese and Western cuisine. While the food was decent, it felt a bit overpriced compared to other restaurants. The service took a while as well. Fortunately, we were distracted by the beauty of the place. It's our third day here in Bali. We're still staying here in Ubud. It's currently 8.49 a.m. and we're on our way to the Tirta Temple. It's a water temple. Let's see if we're going to do the purification. But if not, I will show you some clips so you guys would know how it works. This is the reality if you rent a private car during your tour. No, it's only the reality of your rent Kuya Putra's car because it's so comfy. The aircon is so, so cold and it looks like this. The whole car is so spacious. You don't need to worry about the time because you have all the time for yourself if you rent Kuya Putra's car. So book him. Good morning everyone. We are now here at Tirta Empul. It's a water temple and it's, and it's one of the busiest temple in Bali, Indonesia. But today is Monday, so konti lang yung mga visitors. The entrance fee to Tirta Empul Temple is 50k IDR. So that's about 200 to 230 pesos. This one says snake fruit, as you can see. When you touch the skin of this fruit, it, is, uh, it feels like a skin of a snake. Mm -hmm. You have to look closer. 
Before you enter the temple, they will ask you to put the sarong on. The activities that you can do here is the purification at the temple. And if you will do that activity, you have to wear the green sarong. But if not, you will wear colorful sarong like this. And don't worry because you don't need to rent another sarong for that because the sarong is already part of the entrance ticket that we paid earlier. Tirta Empul is a water temple often referred to as a holy spring. In the Balinese language, Tirta Empul translates to water gushing from the earth. This temple is renowned for its sacred springs which are believed to have been created by the god Indra and are thought to have healing properties. If you wish to participate in the purification process, please note that women cannot enter during their menstrual period. The purification begins with meditation and prayers. You will then make an offering which consists of a bundle of flowers and incense. And sticks. Following this, you will enter the first pool where people line up to dip their heads into the water. There are 13 fountains and you will start at the left side. However, you should skip fountains 1, 11, and 12 as these are reserved for rituals for the deceased. You will repeat this process in the next two pools and you will be guided and provided with additional information if you choose to participate. The ritual aims to cleanse and heal the body of illnesses. Hi everyone! It's currently 3.22 and we are now here at the famous road called Pantay Batu Barak and it looks like this. So stunning! We could fly a kite with our shoes off, pass on the boombox, weather never too hot. Little breeze is all I need and off to the races, watch it fly like a spaceship. You're taking me places starry eyed and complex. We could fly a kite with our shoes off, pass on a boombox, weather never too hot. Little breeze is all I need and off to the races, watch it fly like a spaceship. You're taking me places starry eyed and complex. Watch it catch the wind and go. See it sail the breeze of flow. And you're here with me, it shows. I'm feeling fine. Feel the grass beneath my toes. Let the music set the tone. See your smile and Melasti Beach 
which is just five minutes away from the previous destination that we visited and look at the waves it's so big you're kind of hot like me burning through a cool stare just like we don't care now now don't you speak the words you haven't said are better in my head better in my head love the For the night, partners in crime till the sunrise. Trash my room, start a fight, and never say a word. Let's fall in love for the night. Smoke out the valet for a joyride. Crash and crawl from the side, and never say a word. Well, I woke up in a hotel room with my baby on my mind. I've been traveling on this lonely road so long I've lost the time. She's been waiting and wondering and wishing me home. I've been staring. Good morning, babe. Hi guys, good morning. Uh, they just served the floating breakfast in our villa. Hi everyone! It's our fourth and final day in Ubud and we're going to make the most of it. Our first destination is Canto Lampo located in Gyanyar, about an hour away from Ubud. This waterfall is known for its distinctive rock formations which are said to have been created when the Canto Lampo River was struck by an avalanche. It's becoming an Instagram famous spot and I now understand why. It's a majestic body of water nestled in the heart of Bali's rainforest. Note that there are stairs leading down to the falls which take about three minutes to navigate. The area offers decent toilets, showers, changing rooms, and lockers for rent. An hour is enough to enjoy this spot and you can also have a meal at the nearby restaurants and local food spots. Some local people take wonderful photos for free but donations are always appreciated. <laughs> Distance all this time. Keep wondering if you're doing 
After an awesome experience at Canto Lampo, we went back to the Tegalalang area for lunch and I took another turn on the zip line. We had such a great time around Ubud, but now we are ready to move on to Seminyak. We're still full from everything we had earlier today and honestly, we stopped by convenience stores to grab some snacks. So, we decided to just unwind at the Starbucks Reserve Dewata. This is the largest Starbucks in Southeast Asia and as a Starbucks girly, my heart is so happy. It's a beautiful cafe that blends modern and Balinese architecture. What makes the Starbucks branch special is its exclusive menu and the coffee classes they offer. I'm disappointed that I'm not able to attend a coffee workshop due to time constraints but this just gives me another reason to come back right however i didn't miss the chance to buy mugs and merch Good evening everyone! I am so sorry kasi hindi ako nakakapag-update sa inyo gaano. It's currently 11.08pm and we just came back to our hotel. It's a new hotel as you can see. We are now here at Seminyak and, and I feel like I won't be able to tour you guys tomorrow. So I will do the room tour today. This is how it looks like. There is a kitchen. You can cook here. There's also a mini fridge. There's a kettle. They provide free drinking water for two every day. On this side, there is the door to the toilet. Um, this is our <laughs> closet. I won't show you guys what's inside because it's filled with our things. And we have here a receiving area. On that side, we have working table. We have TV. And this is the coziest bed. It's a big bed. Then we have two side tables. And then the best part is we have the pool view. Good morning everyone! So, today we are going to Nusa Pinida but before that, I want to show you guys the view. Kanyan yung itsura ng mga rooms sa second floor. And if you book a room sa baba, it looks like that. See? Ang ganda! Sana all! Nearest accessible beach here is just around 15 minutes away. Good morning! We're off to Nusa Pinida today. I'm so excited because I have a feeling that something special will happen. But anyway, our journey to the island will start with a boat ride from Sanor. The boat ride will take about 45 minutes to an hour so be prepared for an adventurous ride as the waves can occasionally be quite rough. When we got to Nusa Pinida, we had to pay an environmental fee. Make sure you bring cash with you because some places only take cash. We tried using two different ATMs as well but neither had any money available. We started our day at this gorgeous restaurant. It's giving Mamma Mia vibes. Songs pretend I'll make it someday I'll 
friends are getting married. Didn't I mention that today is JC and I's 10th anniversary? He made it incredibly special by kneeling in front of me and asking me to marry him. My heart is overflowing with happiness and I can hardly believe it. Instead of crying tears of joy, I burst out laughing. <laughs> I think I was so overwhelmed that I couldn't hear anything, including his heartfelt message, so I had to ask him to repeat his speech. I'm finally marrying my best friend. What a wonderfully crazy moment. Just right, I got engaged today. Afterwards, we made our way to one of the island's most iconic locations, the Diamond Beach. The beach earned its name for the striking gem-like cliffs set against crystal clear turquoise waters. If you're planning a visit to Nusa Penida, I highly recommend staying a couple of nights. This will allow you to explore all the must-see spots at your own pace. If you're only taking a day tour, be aware that the beach becomes quite crowded by 9am when the day trippers arrive. Not gonna lie, going to the beach is a bit of a challenge. You'll need to descend the stairs case which takes about roughly 45 minutes. The stairs are quite steep and tricky but as they say, nothing worthwhile comes easy. For those staying overnight, consider spending the morning at Atu Beach before heading to the Diamond Beach in the afternoon. By then, the day trippers will be leaving for the last ferries back to Bali. Running, running! It's so hard! <laughs> no! Running, running! <laughs> ano, baby? Kaya pa? Two minutes lang yung picture niya doon tapos Hirap mo kaya for experience, yes, but I don't want to go back. Let's go. Welcome to New Zealand of Bali, Indonesia. 
joke, I'm just kidding because the vibe is the same. But we are now here at Bali Farmhouse, a newly opened tourist attraction spot here in Bali and it's located around Bedugol area. It's worth it to go here because you can do a lot of activities, especially if you're traveling with kids. They will enjoy interacting with animals like donkey, alpaca, ostrich. It's a hidden gem since they just opened last February of this year. I initially intended for this day to be our free day. We were meant to explore coffee shops near our hotel, but the universe had other plans for us. When I received an invitation from Bali Farmhouse the other day, I immediately accepted. I've been wanting to see alpacas in person and I didn't expect that this would be the moment for it. Bali Farmhouse is situated in Bedugol and is close to several tourist attractions including Ulundano Beratin Temple, Wanagiri Hill, Bali Botanical Garden, and Nandara Gate. So I recommend recommend spending a day here to make the most of your visit. Upon arrival, you will immediately notice the refreshing cool breeze which is so relaxing. The climate here is a bit cooler than other areas of Bali and the first thing we did was feed the donkeys and ponies. I discovered that donkeys tend to be a bit lazy while the ponies are much more playful. Both are fascinating animals and I couldn't get enough of them. I'm open for a quality man Soak my sweet love up. I could cook up some dreams filled with me in love with you. This one, your name is Astrid. You got me gushing, warm and fuzzy and glowing on you when I'm around you. Next, we headed to the area where the alpacas are, which is the main reason I came here. I wanted to visit Taiwan for them and unexpectedly, I got to see them now. Alpacas are shy but very curious animals. The instructors advise us to ensure we fed all of them as they can get jealous and might spit at you. I experienced this firsthand with one playful alpaca but all is well. It wasn't a problem. They're so adorable. It was such a fun and chill day for us. girlfriend and partner I could ever ask for. You always believed in me and inspired me to be better every day. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Somebody, I say you don't cross my mind And she doesn't know that your favorite 
today marks our last full day. If you're still watching this part of the video, thank you guys for joining us on this adventure. I hope you're having a great time. Anyway, we're taking it easy today, so I started with a refreshing morning dip in the pool, and then after that, we headed to Pahmalan for lunch. Hey everyone, it's 12.51 p.m. and we are here at one of the famous place for Bobby Guling at Pak Malin. And we are here because the special nila is mga pork. And in the Philippines, we have similar dish. Kapares niya yung lechon. Chicharong, durog, durog, charis. Taste test. Ano yung mas masarap? Chicharong. Tapos chicken skin. Ito yung tatak. Mmm, chicharon. long. Ito yung chicken skin nila. Napansin ko sa mga pagkain nila. Savory, pero hindi sobrang alat ka guys sa atin. As in, sobrang sobrang alat pala nung food natin. Dito maalat din siya, but not too much. Just enough flavor. Ito yung spicy version. Yung mga parang gulay sa gilid. Spicy yun. And then, this is mine. Plain lang. Because we don't like spicy. Of course, we need rice. We eat everything with rice. Staring out the window. Wow. Reaching for a North Star. Waiting just to wake up. From this nightmare where you could be right back in my arms. Into the limo. Hi everyone, we are currently here at Agung Bali. It's a big souvenir place, so dito na kami bibili ng mga souvenir. We are now inside Agung Bali, so it's like a big shopping mall for souvenirs. Like everything that you need is here, but I feel like it's more expensive here compared to the market because in the market at least you can haggle. But if you don't have time and you want to buy in one place, you can do it here. They also accept credit card payments. I never cared much for the traffic in Midtown. So I moved down south, I don't know where you are now It's getting exhausting, trying to imagine Settling down when it's already happened A piece of my heart is stuck in Manhattan Redyard is located right in the heart of Seminyak and it's a charming and inviting cafe. I adore the tree inside the coffee shop. It's such a lovely sight. There's a wide selection of coffee, cakes, bread, and pastries to choose from along with various beverages and food options. The cafe is quite spacious, featuring outdoor seating, and the second floor is dedicated to a co-working space. It's a clever idea to separate areas for those who want to study and work from those who just want to relax. Their coffee is excellent and I love how the match blends perfectly with the Strawberry Now I understand why so many people choose to visit this place. There are countless reasons to love Bali and one of my favorite discoveries is how deeply the Balinese people value their religion. You can see the influence of their beliefs and how they incorporate the wisdom of Hinduism into their daily lives. They also show great respect for nature which is evident even in the way they present their food. Bali is a vibrant island brimming with wisdom and positive energy. 
Over the past 7 days, we've explored many amazing places, but I know there are still countless beautiful spots to discover. For now, I'll wrap up the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on my next adventure. Bye! Mwah.